All right, here is some demo on how to create a spooky out of bounds effect. And it doesn't have to be spooky. Here's my example that's not spooky. I did a picture of pumpkins. But the examples I'm going to run through how to do very quickly here is this, which is a super basic one. And then this one that's a little bit more complicated. So let's start with this example. First, you're going to open up a background. So this can be anything. I'll use a different background this time. So I got my spooky background. This is a really big picture. So I'm in Photoshop and this is at 33.3%. I'm going to go ahead and resize that just because I'm afraid that my other pictures will be um, not good sized for it. So I usually keep them about 1200 um, when I'm just doing something like this and I'm going to post online or whatever. <clears throat> so now at 100% it's this size. Okay. Now I'm going to place in my image. So file, place embedded. And I'll go put in my picture from it. So there it is. Get it? <laughs> all right. I'm going to go ahead and hit check mark. All right. So this is super simple. For this example, all we're doing is basically trimming off part of the picture and showing only this portion. And then we're going to take this balloon and put it in front. And then add a little stroke around this to kind of make it look like it has a frame. All right. <clears throat> so what do we do first? Well, we take our rectangular marquee. And we kind of mark out. We, want, we know we want part of this balloon to stick out, but we don't want the hair to stick out. So I'm just going to kind of mark like about this, something like that. And of course, you would just have to decide what you like, okay? And then simply add a layer mask. And bam, there we go. We have the first part done. Now I'm going to disable my layer mask, click back on this layer, and take my quick selection, because that'll be fastest, and select my balloon. I don't need this part of the balloon, because only this part's going to hang out anyway, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to turn this mask back on and actually then I'm going to have you turn off this layer but not before we make a copy. So click and drag down here to make a copy. Turn this one off. Delete this mask. And then add a mask so that this part will only be on this layer. So when I add this, see now it's the balloon. And then here's this part. Look at that. Pretty simple. And then all I have to do is on this layer, I'm going to give it a border. So I'm going to hit my FX button and go to stroke. <clears throat> Choose what kind of stroke you want. I'm going to go inside. Um, you could go whatever color you want. Make it however big you want. And that's basically it. You could then crop down your image, like if you didn't want to have as much down here on the edges or whatever. You know, you could crop the image down. And then if you want it to be spookier, go to your topmost layer and just add a quick curves adjustment layer. Um, you don't have to do anything fancy to this. Just click on the little box and then in your properties panel, mine's hidden, in your properties panel, just mess around with these settings a bit. Look at that. Ooh, that's scary. And you can, you're just going to be dragging. We want to make it darker. So we're making this part down here darker. There we go. All right. I like it. I like it. All right. So there's that one. That's the first one. That's the easiest way. Okay. Now this other one <clears throat> is a little more complicated. So we get into this one a little more complicated because this time I'm using a mirror. So I'm like putting my character inside another part of the picture. So here we go. I'm going to open up that background. So here's my mirror room. And same story, I'm going to, and this one is not quite so big, so I'll leave this one. And this one I'm going to place my standing clown here. And there he is. I'm going to go ahead and control T and scale him down a little bit. I know I want, and you can turn your opacity down so you can see through. I know I want these balloons to hang out. <clears throat> I'll do this one a little different than the other one. I'll let them hang out over on the side. So we'll say he's sort of right in the middle of the picture. So this is fine. His feet can be down there. I don't care. We're going to cut him off so he looks like he's in the mirror, except the balloons. Okay. So here we go. It's that same concept, only this time I need to grab the middle part of this, and that's where my, my little guy needs to go. I'm going to take my polygon lasso tool, and uh, because it's a, a rectangle, and that's why I would say for this, if you're, you know, just getting comfortable with Photoshop, I would stick with mirrors and frames and stuff, things that are going to be rectangular and easier to deal with. Okay, so now I've got that. I'm going to turn this on and we're going to add a layer mask on the clown layer so that only this part shows. So here I go. I'm going to click the layer mask button. Bam, there it is. And we can turn our opacity up. So let, here he's in there. And then all I've got left to do is same situation as before. Disable the layer mask. Come in here with your quick selection or whatever selection tool you want and select your piece that you're going to use. Make a copy of this layer. 
drag it down, or you can right click and duplicate. All right, turn this one off for now, and then let's get rid of this layer mask. So now we have the whole thing, but we only want the balloons. So while we're on this layer, we're going to click and add the layer mask. So then we have balloons, and I'll, of course I could touch them up or whatever. And then if I turn this other layer back on, if I enable my mask and turn it back on, there he is inside. And then again, I could touch up the balloons, but I won't make you watch me do that. I'm going to zoom out. Same story. It's kind of fun on these scary ones to click on your top layer, click on your adjustment layer button, and add a little curves adjustment. Give it a little spooky. Oh, look at that. Yes, a little spookiness. So there you go. In less than six minutes, I've demonstrated two different projects for a spooky Halloween out-of-bounds project.